Let's talk about symmetry and derivatives. Okay. So we remember we say that a fixed point of a transformation is uh, a point is fixed if its image point is the same as its pre-image point. But collectively, if us if we map a whole set of points like a whole graph, if that transformation maps it collectively to the same image points, although not necessarily fixed individually, maybe rearranged, but collectively the same, we say it has symmetry with respect to that transformation. It's possible to have reflective, rotational, or translational symmetry. Uh, a uh, function with translational symmetry is said to be periodic. If a relation with pi rotational, 180 degree, rotational symmetry about a point is said to be symmetric about that point. A function is even if and only if f of minus x is f of x. A function is even function if and only if it's a function with symmetry about the y-axis. Um, and it's, uh, I think I said the same thing twice here. A function is an odd function uh, if and only if f of minus x is the opposite of f of x, and a relation is an odd function if and only if it's a function with the words in symmetry. So all those are some, some re review. So suppose we have a differentiable function that's symmetric about the y-axis. In other words, it has to be an even function. Then what we have is f of minus x equals f of x, and we've actually already seen this, but it turns out that the derivative then Okay, it and is uh, the derivative of f of x is f prime of x, but we've seen that that's the same as the derivative of minus x, which is minus f prime of, of of negative x. So f prime of minus x is the opposite of f prime of x. So the derivative is an odd function. So what's the conclusion? Conclusion is, if we start with an odd function that's symmetric about the origin, the derivative is an even function and symmetric about the y-axis. So, if the derivative of an even function is an odd function. Similarly, it turns out, what's this? If we take a differentiable function that's symmetric about the origin, in other words, an odd function, then f of minus x is the opposite of f of x. Okay, so f of x is the opposite of f of minus x. So f prime of x, the derivative of f of x, is the derivative of minus f of minus x. Well, that's minus out front. The derivative of f of minus x is f prime of minus x. Times the derivative of the inside, which is minus 1, cancels that minus out front. And we get this, so f prime of minus x is the same as f prime of x, so the derivative is an even function. So, conclusion is, the derivative of an even function is an odd function, and the derivative of an odd function is an even function. So, another, word, another way to say that, okay, so, derivative of an even function is an odd function, another way to say that is, So, a function which is symmetric with respect to the y-axis has a derivative which is symmetric with respect to the origin. Of course, the symmetry there, I really even an odd more talks about the formula and the symmetry more talks about the graph. Okay, so down here we can say, so a function which is symmetric about the origin has a derivative which is symmetric about the y-axis. Okay, the derivative of even function is odd, the derivative of odd function is even.